Nicola Sturgeon accused of care home failures by Davidson sign up for now and never miss the top politics stories again subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any Douglas Ross claimed the Scottish First Minister was caught spinning the stats after she made a claim on Monday that she was satisfied that we have met the target of vaccinating all over 70s and all those who are classed as extremely vulnerable. Ms. Sturgeon stated that everyone in these groups has been offered the vaccine but the statistics show that only 80% of those on the shielding list have had their first doubt. The latest figures show 143,752 people who are clinically extremely vulnerable. Just 80% of those on the shielding list had received the jab 30 a.m. yesterday. The more AMP and Scottish Conservative leader tonight demanded Nicola Sturgeon should apologize for this completely unacceptable attempt to hide. The erupted after the First Minister told MSPs at Holyrood that by 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday a total of 1,320,074 Scots had received their first dose of the coronavirus vaccine an increase of 32,070 from the previous day. With National Records of Scotland, NRS, figures showing coronavirus deaths in care homes having fallen by 62% in three weeks, she welcomed this as the first hard evidence of the positive impact of that. Mr. Ross said she had tried to dupe the public about meeting key targets, branding the actions as the Conservative MP, added, these new statistics show that the SNP missed their target and, in fact, one in five of the extremely clinically vulnerable are still waiting for their jab. Days after the SNP said everyone would have it, Nicola Sturgeon has been caught spinning the stats and misleading the public. She couldn't have been clearer in the Scottish Parliament that the SNP's target was to vaccinate everyone who is shielding by mid-trending. The public need to know they're getting honest and accurate information from the first. She must apologize for this completely unacceptable attempt to hide the truth. Last night, however, the Scottish government branded the Scottish Tories' claims as a Scottish government spokeswoman added, the deployment plan was based on an uptake of at least 80% in each cohort, and that was met yesterday for those who have been advised. Anyone who believes they should have had an invite but hasn't should visit NHS Inform to find out what they should do to get their report. Coronavirus-related deaths among Scotland's oldest residents have also been falling as a result of the boost in the vaccination campaign. National Records of Scotland data revealed deaths in care homes had fallen by 62% from 111 in the week beginning January 18 to 42 last week. Scottish government figures years revealed the country recorded 64 deaths from coronavirus and 1,121 positive tests in the past 24 hours. There are 1,317 people in hospital confirmed to have the virus, down 66 compared to a day earlier, of whom are in intensive care. UK ministers also said tonight they had invested £300 million in developing vaccines and secured £400 million. Ian Stewart MP, UK Government Minister for Scotland, said, the UK government has made huge efforts to successfully procure safe and effective vaccines for people right across the UK. While much has been done, there is still more to do, and the UK government remains ready to support the Scottish government in any way it can to get people inoculated.